I think Alexandra's music, it's like a, it's adding a new character to the film, actually. It has a personality of its own. A composer is, is, is a vital component of, of the film, and Alexandra was you know, the person who we immediately turned to. We all loved his music on such a range of films, and he's an incredibly flexible composer. Small films, big films, dramas, comedies, he's got such range. And in this film, there are so many notes, no pun intended, but so many elements, so many moods that need to be hit um, with the score. We need a composer who was incredibly flexible and Alexandre is that. He brings a richness, a warmth, an element of darkness, all the colouring and flavour that need to be heightened, not necessarily duplicating what's on the screen and sometimes working in opposition to that, but always augmenting the experience and adding to it. Composing is, is thinking, is having your brain in motion and find what the concept of the score has to be. I usually start taking my time to really find the right structure. And when the structure is there, when the skeleton is, is really solid, you can just start fleshing it with colors and, and shapes. Because we have these tender, uh, dark, sometimes moments, the strings can, can convey that with, with great, great strength. Some of the pieces I've written for this film, they have a, an African pulse, or a jazzy pulse, or even a Brazilian pulse, and you can't really tell because it's played by a classical orchestra, but I couldn't do that in, in maybe in another world of music. With movie soundtrack, I can bring a mandolin suddenly for just one moment, and it's gone. So this world of fantasy allows even more, because not only you have the world of magic where everything is possible, but you have also this extraordinary uh, story of extraordinary people that live together. So there's a world of extraordinary sounds that you can play with.